we have our project set up, we can now start rigging this character. But before we do that, uh, let's tell Spine that this green rectangle is our background layer. So we go to the tree panel, click the slot for the background and we select this attachment inside the slot. Now we go here and check the little box that says background. By doing this, we tell Spine that this is a background asset which means we won't be able to select it accidentally while working on our project. With that out of the way, let's take a closer look at our character's mouth. You can see he has a few expressions. However, all of these are visible at the same time. We only want to see one expression visible at any given moment. To do this, we go to the tree view, select the root bone and click new. From the menu, select slot. We can call this mouth and hit OK. Now we navigate to our newly created slot. Just below our uh, new mouth slot are the four slots which hold the assets for our four mouth expressions. Select all four and hit expand. We can see that each contain a skin placeholder and an attachment. Hold down control and select all four skin placeholders. Drag and drop them inside our new mouth slot. After dropping everything inside the mouth slot, we can toggle between each of the skin placeholders to see all our mouth expressions one by one. Also, since we shifted the containers from each slot, they are now empty and useless and can be deleted. So now if we zoom into the left hand, we see he is holding something. It's a hammer and a flashlight. But we don't want them to be visible at the same time. So we just repeat the same process. In the tree view, select the slot for the flashlight, drag and drop its content inside the slot for the hammer. Now that the skin placeholders for both the hammer and the flashlight are in a single slot, we can easily toggle between the two. Remember to delete the flashlight slot since it is now empty. And that is it for this lesson. Today we've learned that if we've exported a background in Spine that we will not be animating, we can easily inform Spine that it's a background. Once we've done that, we don't have to worry about selecting it accidentally while working on our project. We also learned that we can shift the contents of several slots into a single slot. When a slot contains more than one asset, it will only show the selected asset while hiding the rest of its content. This is very useful when working with assets that will change like facial expressions or even VFX. I really hope you were able to follow along and as always, please ask me what you couldn't understand in a comment below.